Well, Zach, that was a very hard-fought and hard-earned victory. Yeah, it was, to be fair. I thought in the first half, well, first couple of minutes, really, we kept the ball really, really well. Uh, we made a couple of opportunities, and then they got into the game, to be fair to them. Started pulling us apart a little bit. We didn't keep the ball as well during the middle bit of the uh, first half. But I thought then towards the end of the first half, um, we started to get back on it again. And then came out the second half, went back to how we started the first half, and um, we deserved our two goals, to be fair. Yeah, what was said at half time because you, you came out with a lot of intent and, and you, you really looked threatened to run away with the game, in fact. Mm. I think what was said is just really keep playing how we were playing because we were playing well, just to move the ball a little bit quicker, maybe, and just keep doing what we're doing, really. And they said that it would come, the chances would come, we just needed to take our chances, which we did. And the last 10 or 15 minutes or so, obviously, they were going all out to try and get that equaliser. Yourself and the defence in front of you were under a lot of pressure, weren't you? Mm. Yeah, we were, but I thought we coped with it really well. Um, we defended really well. We defended the crosses especially well. And yeah, I thought we defended really well in the last 20 minutes. You didn't have that much to do, all told. At the, at the other end of the field, your opposite number, he made some quite outstanding saves throughout. Mm, yeah, he made some really good saves, to be fair to him. A couple of worldies, to be fair, so yeah, he did really well. Obviously, Sheffield United go ahead. It was a bit of a mix-up. What, can, can you explain it from, from the goalkeeper's point of view? I think I was just coming out, I gave him a shout, he obviously must have not heard it, but it was just it was just a mix-up and at the end of the day it didn't really matter because we, we got the win. Obviously you coming into the team again after so long out through injury, um, was that a factor with it, with, with yourself and Joe Redmond, maybe the communication there? Um, I don't think so, I think it was just a, just a little bit of a misunderstanding really, because we train with each other every day, so we have that communication, we have that relationship, I just think it was a misunderstanding on the day. Yourself, Joe, the rest of the team, put that behind you and you, you came back together, you know, a very, very good win. Yeah, I thought we did and I thought after the first goal we really capitalised on that bit of momentum we had to get the second goal quite quickly after, so I thought yeah, we did really well. And what was it like for yourself to be back out there after three months or so off, uh, off injured? Yeah, it's been a long three months to be fair. Obviously I was out on loan at Gloucester, so it's coming into a new team, that was my first game of the season for the 23, so... Yeah, but I thought I settled back in. Yeah, and it was it was good to get back out there, especially after you say after three months of being out. It's a long time being injured, and it's just nice to start the year off getting back out on the pitch mm. and with a win. And your last game prior to this evening was for England 19s, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Seems like forever ago now. <laughs> Different settings as well, but yeah, it was good to be back out there. And what was that experience been like for you with the three lines? Oh, it's been amazing, really. Just uh, delighted to get that call up initially in uh, September. And to make my debut as well on that same camp was just a feeling I'll never forget. But yeah, it's been really good out there with them. And obviously at the start of the season, the, the loan to Gloucester City to get you some more competitive experience. How's that gone? Yeah, it's gone better than I could ever expect it, to be honest. Um, to be fair to Scott, he sent me out on loan. He said that it's, this is going to be the best thing for you, for your career. And it's, uh, it's really helping me out. It's made me from a boy to a man, really, out, out in the sticks. And I, I feel confident now coming for crosses and stuff. And because you're playing against men every day, every week, um, it's really a good test, but I feel like I'm dealing with it well. Has that been the thing for you? It's been a bit of an eye-opener playing, going down to that level and, and having to do it week in, week out, where there's points on the line and people are getting paid? Yeah, exactly. That's how it is. Down in the non-league, that's their, that's their little bit of extra income they get if they get a win and whatever. So they really fight for those wins, those draws, those points. And it's been a massive eye-opener, really, going from academy football out into, out into senior football. Yeah, it's been a massive eye-opener. And do you feel that has helped you improve as a keeper, um, as a personality? Oh yeah, massively. It's made me a much bigger, stronger personality in terms of off the pitch, getting in involved with the lads, etc. And on the pitch as well, it's made me stronger in terms of coming for crosses and stuff and just being that being that solid person at the back behind the defenders. Zach, thank you very much for your time and well done this evening. Thank you, thank you.